Hello everyone, welcome to the program. I'm Takashi Gojobori. Here is the author, Professor Samia Hamadan. So first of all, could you tell us the purpose of this paper? In this paper, we focus on understanding one of the key final steps involved mm -hmm. in DNA replication. So this step is responsible for completely stopping DNA synthesis. And you would want to do that so the dividing cell can start to prepare itself for the next step. It needs to separate the two newly synthesized genomic DNA and pass them on to the two newly dividing cells. And this is actually mediated by a protein in bacteria that binds tightly to double-stranded DNA and it stops the replication. So you want to examine the termination of the DNA replication? Yes. Okay. We wanted to understand how this process works at the molecular level because most of what we know about termination of DNA replication came from bacterial system, particularly the Escherichia coli model system, which we used in this study. So-called E. coli, E. coli, right? okay. yes. So in E. coli, termination is mediated by a monomeric protein that binds really tight to double-stranded DNA. The protein is called TAS, and it binds to a sequence called TER, that's TAS-TER complex. So this is one of the most tightly bound monomeric protein to DNA. Now, this monomeric protein is able to stop the replication fork permanently. However, inside the cell, it can stop the forks only with 50% efficiency. In the other 50%, the replication machinery just passed by, never stops. So we wanted to understand why this Tostair barrier protein fails in 50% of the time. Then what, what did you discover? The way we understand this phenomena, it's more like a collision accident. It's a crashing. It's a crashing. It's wow. like a, a big truck hitting a parking car. My goodness. <laughs> yes, and, and this parking car will be able to uh, stop it only 50% of the time. So we thought that simply if you have a fast-moving replication machine, it will be able to displace the barrier protein, but a slower one will be able to stop it. There is a race between the speed at which you unzip the DNA and the speed at which the barrier needs to rearrange itself. And the breakthrough for us to achieve this was our ability to use some specialized microscopes that enable us to record molecular movies of this entire wow. collision accident between the replication fork and the barrier protein and correlating the relationship between the speed and fate of the barrier protein. So what would be the significance of your discoveries? So in diseases, there is a very strong relationship between defect or mutation protein involved in DNA replication and repair. Cancer, for example, is one of those diseases. So in the future, what do you like to extend your study? So I would like to know in general how different type of barriers protein that binds double-stranded DNA communicate with molecular motors. So you have many molecular motors moving on the DNA and they all encounter each other. So we're looking now at the DNA mm -hmm. as a hub for many processes nice. and they need to communicate and we need to understand them. So very profound and very basic. Yeah. So good luck, Samia. Thank you.